Guys, we just got our rental, the Ford Fusion right behind us. You know, such a sick whip, but uh, yeah, we're heading out to get some bagels on before we actually head over to the SSR Performance, but for a proper intro, what's up guys? Welcome back to Welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are finally doing the crazy things to this M3 that it definitely needs, which is raw bearings and some paint work. Anyway, let's get our bagels and then head over to SSR Performance. Guys, that's some good stuff. This coffee is severely overpriced, but the bagels, not bad. Let's get down to SSR right now. I'm about like a couple minutes late. I hate being late to anything. So <laughs> let's get down there and get this M3 worked on. Just pulled up, we have the M3 sitting here. Bumper needs to get done, fender needs to get done, and underneath the hood, raw bearings need to get done. I'm back with SSR, Shaw, my man right here, dude. Bro, I'm doing all right. Every time I come down here, dude, I love the smile on your face, your positive energy, dude. And uh, guys, again, look how busy. <laughs> And, here. Bro, and that's that's not, that actually comes to the second thing that I was just talking to you. We talked about this off camera, which is the service they have here. You guys are stacked, yeah. but they answer every phone call, which yeah. is yeah. super important. There's a couple of the companies I've worked with that, again, I'm a social media person too, and they don't get back to me for weeks. Yeah. So when do they get back to you guys, yeah. you know? Yeah. So, yeah. And that's bro. important to you, which, which to the viewers that are watching this video, guys, like keep in mind, Newer will always see and, and uh, I guess uh, sift through these companies for you guys to yeah. let you guys know who the guys are that you should be taking your cars to as well. So it's really, really, really nice of him to be doing that and not just pretty much saying, oh, that, sh that company's giving me free work or that shop's giving me free work. <laughs> I should just go ahead and like, you know, go to any, them, yeah. you know, and keep pitching them for free work. I can so. do this. I can do the ex exact same job, I'm sure, locally, yeah, yeah. but it's, it's not the same. Uh, how they many hours do you drive? I drove six and a half hours. Yeah. I booked a hotel for a week, booked a car rental <laughs> for a week. Bro, but it's worth it. Yeah, yeah. It's worth it because at the, at the exact same time, I know that they're not gonna cheap out on this paint job. I know it's gonna be perfect. Yeah. Every front end paint job I get, bro, rock chips everywhere. Yeah. And yeah. Like Within like a week or two, rock chips everywhere. I know the paint job's gonna be good here. Yeah. I know the raw bangs at the same time, you guys take care of that and you guys also warranty that, right? Yep. So cool. that yep. peace of mind, bro, like if I have, if I'm doing it, the raw bangs from my garage, bro, it says 40,000 miles on it. If I blow this engine, bro, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would, if I take it to a day. local shop and yeah. this is their first time doing it, not worth it. Even some local shops, bro, they'll, they'll start it. I call them up to see how the progress is doing and sometimes they just honestly either don't get back to me or they just tell me like hey uh, we're just waiting on parts or whatever 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 um, but the thing is they don't get back to me after a couple of days and that's again the most important key when you're getting stuff done yeah. is customer service communication, communication. Yep. it's yep. very important you guys don't this is your daily driver for a lot of you guys especially for me I'm, I'm this is my current main project this is probably the most looking poopy here but <laughs> <laughs> as you guys know I got to get my stuff done on time and I know with shot it's gonna be done on time and that's why I'm here I'm willing to drive out the six hours because I know this is gonna be done way faster than anyone else locally or even around this area, bro. And the best part is no one local will be able to do your rod bearings and also paint that front bumper and fender for you. In the same time. At the same time. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take it off. We're gonna take it to SSR Auto Body right there. <laughs> I'm literally gonna walk it over and then we have SSR Performance at the exact same time, bro. Just yeah, getting yeah. things done, bro. And I, yeah, yeah. that's what I love, dude. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, let's get inside. Let's talk about these rod bearings, bro. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Guys, I can't wait till I'm balling that I can actually choose what kind of carbon I want. Look at the options. This is so random in the vlog, but I just noticed in this, this in their office and this looks so 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 cool but anyways guys we're not here to talk about carbon fiber we are here to talk about the rod bearings so um i've obviously already done these before but i'm wanting for the viewers that have not done rod bearings before why should you do them bro yeah yeah so yeah the whole reason why you drove what six hours is six just hours, with these little things right here that can fit in the palm of my hands right <laughs> so um so obviously these are going to be the these are metal pieces essentially that go in between the the crankshaft journal itself and the uh, the piston rod, right? Yeah. So essentially, what happen is from OEM BMW factory specifications. Of course, our good old friends at BMW, <laughs> um, you know, we always come back to that. Um, have created a rod bearing, a rod bearing on the engine that goes in that engine right now that doesn't allow enough clearance. It's too thick to allow the oil to properly lubricate the crankshaft and in between this bearing, right? Yeah. So what happens is 
you'll end up getting um, you'll end up getting a bearing that's eventually gonna be wearing away slowly, 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 and eventually after let's just say it could be forty thousand miles, it could be a hundred thousand miles, you don't really know. Yeah. Um, eventually, it'll wear away enough to the point where this bearing will actually start essentially rattling inside there, right? Because it's just it's just essentially becoming um, thinner and thinner and thinner over time, and then you get what we call engine knock, right? No yeah. one wants engine knock. So, um, and at that point, by the way, it's too late, right? Chances are, if you're already knocking, it's because either the journal itself on the crankshaft is out of specification, or your rod, uh, the rod piston rod itself is out of spe specification. And what that means is that you would have to rebuild that engine at that point. And of course, that's what we consider a blown engine, right? So in order to avoid that, what uh, a lot of companies have done after realizing that, uh, you know, in this case, ACL, after realizing that the BMW OEM specifications were not um, you know, properly set from the beginning, they created their own bearings, which have a, uh, a specification that they believe to be able to last the lifetime of the entire engine. Engine, right so they're not gonna wear away they're not gonna spin over time right because of course when they get too thin they'll spin and of course yeah not only can you have that knock but you could actually have a completely seized engine if your bearing happens to get so thin that it spins and essentially lodges itself and welds itself to the actual like welds the engine together essentially right at the crank ACL has created this uh, solution and that's why we're here today to swap these bearings out which we do from pretty much we drain the oil we drop the oil pan um, and we remove each rod cap uh, separately and then replace these uh, bearings, put the rod caps back on. Of course, we also measure each and every single one of these bearings before it actually goes in uh, for tolerances to make sure that your you know crankshaft itself isn't compromised already, already as it is using plastic gauge. And then we have these Carrillo rod bolts that we replace your OEM rod bolts with. We found to work much better than the OEM rod bolts, especially when using these ACL rod bearings. So um, you get the full package. And of course, along with this whole job, you also get a fresh oil pan gasket. Um, all this stuff has a full lifetime warranty on the labor. So if you get it done here at SSR, you'll never have to be worried. Um, we fully 100% confident in our abilities to make sure that we're doing this job perfectly every single time. And that's why we give you guys that lifetime warranty and cover the entire engine from any kind of risk of any failure of your rod bearings in the future. Um, of course, with any if there was any negligence on our part or anything like that, we've never had to go down that route, thankfully, and we're going to keep it that way for your car <laughs> and every other car Appreciate in the future. It, bro. Um, but and, like he said with the warranty guys again, that is why I'm here They do such a good job. They check every little they check every single raw bearing to make sure that everything is gravy in the Navy before actually installing it yep. Lifetime warranty yep. and on top of that you guys are doing a big job the oil pan yep. that is a very costly thing I think I paid like fourteen hundred dollars for yep. just an oil pan job the gaskets like you know 20 30 bucks you know but then ultimately you pay uh for the labor so yeah. while they're doing the labor guys if you guys need an oil pan which is notorious for leaking might as well get the raw bearings on i have forty thousand miles and i just don't want to hear if i ever like it's just that peace of mind bro yeah. Yeah. i don't want it when i go down the track or i'm just you know ripping it on the highway for any reason yeah. you know we don't want to hear any knocking sounds and we have to replace the entire engine especially a forty thousand mile engine so yeah. this lifetime we're braving the navy with your guys uh what's it called labor yep. and also with the company's uh lifetime so yeah. Yeah, and while we're in there, also we have the stuff room dropped. We'll check your uh, motor mounts as well. And oh, which are also needed. notorious for failing. Yeah, yeah that failed on my last car. Yeah, exactly. And and that job alone will cost you another four or five hundred bucks in labor just to drop the stuff room to replace those. Exactly. To probably get to them. So there's a bunch of things we could tackle and take care of at the same time while doing this job. So if you're looking to pretty much kind of get your E90, E92, M3 back up to par kind of thing, if you just bought it, you don't really know the history, like yours for example, at a, such a low mileage, 40,000 miles obviously is on the lower side to be getting this job done. However, you don't know how many oil changes the customer before you did. <laughs> exactly. The that before you did. So nothing beats be, peace of mind. Nothing beats peace of mind, man. And the thing is, your car's not knocking. And with these parts right here, we're gonna keep it that way. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Guys, again, taking care of my car. They put the floor mat on there. They put the stuff on the seat, the steering wheel, make sure everything's gravy in the Navy. Um, so they were actually very nice. They're like, we'll just take off the bumper and fender for you. We'll go paint it for you guys. I mean, for me. But I was like, you know what? Um, I want to take off the bumper. I want to take off the fender. I've already pretty much got it to where it's super easy, and I want to make their lives a whole lot easier. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this two, the, these two panels real quick, and then take it over to the auto body side. And then we're actually gonna drive this into uh, the performance side to get the raw bearings worked on today, because that is our primary goal today.
This is the next morning, that's why I am in a different outfit, but we finally got the car on the lift. We are taking everything off of it right now, and uh, we're gonna be starting the rock bearing, so that's gonna be super exciting. So I'm gonna be showing you guys the full process. Um, well, my man over here is actually gonna be doing the full process. <laughs> Where are you at? Same guy that did my crank up, bro. What's going on? So he's gonna be showing you guys the full process on how rod bearings are actually done on this car. Uh, for those of you guys, again, who want to get a big job like this done, make sure to come to SSR Performance. But we're gonna be showing you guys how the process goes um, step by step. And uh, yeah, I mean, should be, uh, is this longer than a crank up job or? Uh... Uh, it's a lot shorter. Usually it's a uh, full day. Full day? So bring it in the morning, we'll usually have it done by the end of the day. Right on, guys. So yeah, quick and easy. Um, not for me, but <laughs> for this guy. <laughs> professional we'll get you guys pretty much in a short little time lapse of everything getting removed off the car once we actually get to the raw bearings we'll get into the detailed portions but you guys already know we got to get this stuff fixed soon that's looking kind of ugly but uh yeah let's go ahead and start taking off all the bottom panels Right, guys so my man rick just pulled out the raw bearings this is cylinders one and five top and bottom uh tops honestly we looked at them i was like well uh looks like i spent a lot of money for no reason but then when he pulled out the bottoms look at that guys for forty thousand miles bro these are bad right yeah they're pretty bad Forty thousand miles and this is the lci guys the lci the bmw said that they actually like did some kind of thing to like make them better um that doesn't look better bro <laughs> looks bad dude <laughs> So he's over here lubricating the new ones. Um, we're gonna be putting them on. This is obviously what holds the raw bearing. Um, so these ones are made with lower tolerances or? Uh, with higher tolerances. Oh, higher tolerances. Yeah, so you have a little bit more of a gap for um, oil lubrication. For oil to flow? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. So yeah, obviously we're definitely gonna be going with these and you, you've seen these come back with people beating on them so hard yeah. and they have no scoring or anything, right? Nothing near that. Bro, that, and this car I know was babied. Like, I know this car was babied, and that is crazy, guys. Like, if you have 80,000 miles, you should be tripping. <laughs> like, this is terrible. Guys, I cannot believe this car only has 40,000 miles and they look that bad. That is crazy. These are the top ones, the bottom ones. Bottom ones, not too bad, but the fact that they all are scorched like that, and they, especially this one. My lord, dude. It's a good thing we're getting it done. You can see how smushed they are. 
Bro. <laughs> Guys, I looked at that and I was like, bro, there's nothing wrong with this. <laughs> it's a whole nother level down, dude. Guys, check that out. That's crazy. Yeah, so definitely gonna get those replaced while we're in here. Yep. And guys, I am back in my hotel room. Shout out to Rick for absolutely killing it on this car. He's been like, he was grinding this thing out. It's time for his lunch break. So I decided to come back to my room, chill for a little bit. He's probably gonna end up finishing the car by the time I get back. I'm probably gonna come tomorrow or something like that to go check it out. But hopefully the raw bearings will be done by tomorrow. They're gonna be doing a full test drive, make sure everything's gravy in the Navy when we pick that thing up. And then hopefully, hopefully in a couple days, the full paint is gonna be done on the, front, the, the, the bumper and the fenders. That is super exciting stuff. If you guys are excited to see that video, make sure to smash that like button. But again, huge special shout out to SSR Performers. I absolutely love their crew. I love the fact that I can go in there and film and they're all very open, all very kind people. I love their team. And again, something that's very important when getting your cars worked on guys is responsiveness. If everyone gets back to you ASAP, they have a great staff, great people. And I don't think there's a single person there that makes me feel uncomfortable. So I absolutely love their team. So if you guys want to get your raw bearings done, I definitely would consider SSR Performance like 100% guys. And on top of the fact that I just found out that my 40,000 mile, I thought it was overkilling, like it's kind of overkill for me to do it at 40,000 miles. The fact that my raw bearings were that scorched guys should really worry a lot of you guys who have like 100,000 miles or 8,000 miles. I have the LCI, which supposedly BMW had made improved the raw bearings on that model. My rod bearings are so scorched that honestly, given another like 20, 30,000 miles, I could have spun a rod in this motor. So, so thank goodness we did decide to do this. And for those of you guys who need to get your rod bearings done, make sure to hit up SSR Performance and make sure to use code NOR10 to get 10% off any major repairs like rod bearings, crank, uh, crank hubs, or anything like that. If you guys want to get any of those major repairs done at SSR Performance <laughs> with their amazing warranty, make sure to use my discount code. And at the same time, make sure to hit up SSR Performance. Without further ado, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.